In this video, I will talk about econometrics and economic data in R. Before you watch this video, please make sure that you have watched my other video called Econometrics and Economic Data. So the outline of this presentation would be to talk about cross-sectional data, time series data, pooled cross-sections, and panel or longitudinal data. The first thing I have done uh, here is open up the R script uh, that you see here. I have highlighted all of it and then I have executed the program. I have run the program and this is the console window that I have moved from the bottom here to the side uh, so that here are all the results uh, that we're going to be seeing from this program. So in order to get started, you need to download uh, obviously the script and then the four data files and you need to put them somewhere on the hard drive and this is where my uh, files are and you need to change this directory to your directory on your computer. So uh, with the first line here, uh, we're actually clearing the workspace. If there's anything in the workspace, we would be removing it. Uh, and so we're going to start with a blank list. Uh, the next thing that we're going to be doing is installing the packages that we're going to be using for this R script. Um, so here, uh, the, we're going to be using four packages, Tidyverse, Stargazer, uh, Magritter and Moments. And um, this is basically a loop here that would um, download the packages and checking if they're already installed. And if not, uh, it's installing them or updating them. Um, so you would just uh, be running this code. So the next thing to do here is talk about cross-sectional data. Uh, so cross-sectional data is uh, basically data set uh, that is across individuals, um, but it does not have uh, a time series dimension. So in this particular case, we have cross-sectional data on wages and other characteristics. And in particular, the observations are individuals. In other words, it's people. So how we're going to be using this data set is um, the data set is called wage1.csd file. And here um, we're going to be using read.csv read uh, because this is, the, uh, this is a CSV data file. And here we're pasting basically the directory that we um, uh, used above. So you can either use this command uh, if you have already specified where uh, the data is, or you could basically just put this directory in here uh, and um, that's the equivalent uh, for that without using this code here. So um, this is how we're going to load the data set and the data file wage1.csv and we're going to be calling this data file now uh, wage wage. So that would be the data that we're going to be using. Uh, now let's summarize the data. We're going to be using the stargazer for that. Um, here we first have to specify the data set, which is wage, and then type would be text. Uh, and so here is if we execute this uh, line uh, here, we're going to be seeing all of the variables that we have in the data set. This is the number of the observations, mean standard deviation, and so forth. Uh, and again, we're going to be seeing summary statistics for all of the variables in the data set. Now, suppose that we want to only see um, summary statistics for selected variables. Um, so let's basically um, only select um, the variables wage, log wage, education, and so forth. And so from we're going to be using the data set wage. So this wage is the same as this wage data set. This wage actually is the name of the variable uh, here. So that's a bit confusing right here. 
Um, but then we're going to be using Stargazer to uh, do the summary statistics. So what you're going to see here is that uh, we only summarize the data for the selected variables. Um, this uh, here is called the pipe operator, uh, which forwards the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So what this is saying is that from the data wage, we're going to be selecting uh, these variables. And then for that, we're going to be using Stargazer. So basically, this pipe operator forwards uh, these as the first um, uh, as the first argument in these next functions. So here we have another pipe operator. Um, so this is basically a more, more elegant way to uh, write the code here. So these are the summary statistics that we have. We have a cross-sectional data uh, here. Uh, again, 526 observations. This is the mean value for the wage. This is the mean value for log wage and, and so forth. Um, so this is how summary statistics, statistics look like for cross-sectional data. So the next thing that we can do is uh, we can only um, keep only selected variables in the data set. So in this case, we would be using, um, we would be selecting these variables and then we are going to be uh, keeping only them in the uh, in the data set. So basically we're going to be reassigning um, these variables uh, back into uh, the data set, uh, into the data set. Um, so here, if we are then summarizing the data and structure, we are going to call the structure for this um, uh, data set a wage. Uh, so again, this wage is the, the, the data, the data frame that we have. Uh, in this data frame, we have these variables in there. And then you can see the first um, few values in the, um, in the data frame. Okay, so next thing, uh, we can use the stargazer uh, using the data frame wage. Uh, we can just summarize the data using um, type equals text. So these are again the summary statistics. So note that because we have only kept a few um, variables and um, here and we have reassigned them back into the data frame, we actually do not need to specify which uh, variables uh, we're going to be summarizing in the stargazers because we are now summarizing all of the variables. Another useful thing is uh, to use head. This is the data frame and the first 10 observations. And what this is showing us is basically the values for the first 10 observations in the data. So this is again how cross-sectional data looks like. We have the first 10 observations. Uh, remember that these are the individuals in the data. And this is the wage for the first individual, the log wage for the first individual, and so forth. This is the number of years of education, number of years of experience, and so forth. This is the data for the second individual, for the third individual, and so forth. So again, we do not have time series dimension here. Everything is uh, cross-sectional. Uh, we only have cross-sectional dimension. And the last thing to summarize here with cross-sectional data, we could be using a frequency table by using table. Here we're going to call the data frame wage. And of this wage, um, dollar sign female, we're basically going to be selecting the female variable in the wage data frame. And we're going to be uh, summarizing, uh, putting here in a, a summary table or of uh, frequencies. So here what we see is that we have um, 274 zeros and 252 ones. So these are the females in the data and this is the number of males in the data. So anyway, this is very briefly how to summarize cross-sectional data. Now let's move to time series data. So with time series data, we only have time dimension of the data but we do not have cross-sectional dimension of the data. So now we are going to be um, having uh, the observations over the years 
or over months or days, but we would not have cross-sectional dimension, like we would not have different individuals, different countries, firms, and so forth. So uh, for time series data, um, here we have data on minimum wages uh, and related variables. So we're going to be loading the data set and keeping only selected variables. So here we're going to use uh, read.csv and this is going to be the CSV file that we're reading in uh, from the directory that we specified above. And uh, now let's just uh, use the same data set here. Uh, so we're going to read this data set um, into our data frame. And now we're going to use this data frame with the pipe operator. And from it, we're going to be selecting only the a few um, variables. And then we're going to be reassigning them back as our data frame. So now we can easily get the structure of the data uh, here, the structure of the data frame. Then we're going to be using Stargazer. This is the data frame, uh, and we're going to be getting the summary statistics with that. And then we're going to get a, a table from this data frame. We're going to be selecting the year. So let's see what we get here. Um, so uh, note that we have again loaded the data set here and we have only selected and kept these few variables in the data frame. And now we're going to be using structure to summarize a structure for this data frame. So here's the data frame with 38 observations, five variables, and these are uh, the variables that we have kept. Uh, so notice that these are exactly the same variables that we have selected up here. And um, we have 38 observations uh, because we know that this is data by years. Basically, we have 38 years of uh, data. So if we use Stargazer to get summary statistics, um, here again, we have 38 observations, which are years. Um, so again, this is kind of meaningless. Uh, as far as average of the year. Uh, and these are the averages of the other variables in the data set, the standard deviation and so on. So if you, we want to um, use a table um, to basically get the frequencies for the variable year from this data frame, uh, we can see that these are the years for our data spanning from 1950 to 1987. And we basically have one observation per year, uh, which makes sense with the time series data. Okay, so moving on, now we have pooled cross sections. So pooled cross sections is the same thing as when we have repeated cross sectional data. Uh, so these are again, not necessarily the same units repeated over time, um, but um, uh, we have, say, two periods of data, uh, but uh, we have uh, potentially different houses that are being sold in these two different periods. So here the example is to have pooled cross sections on housing prices. So here we have house prices for two years, and these houses are different in each year because uh, not the same house gets sold in these two different uh, years. So this is what we have, what we call pooled cross sections. Uh, so again, different houses, uh, and you know, in these two different periods, um, and again, we have two periods. So we're again going to load the data set and keep only selected variables. Uh, we're going to be using house price, H price three uh, data set. Uh, we're going to use the read.csv and assign it into our data frame here. And from this data frame, we're going to select these variables here and we're going to be reassigning them back into the data frame. Uh, so we are going to be selecting year um, this is a dummy variable if year is equal to 81, the price of the house, the log price of the house, how many rooms and how many uh, bathrooms the house has. So to summarize and describe the data, we're going to be using again the structure uh, to, to uh, see the structure 
of the data, stargazer to summarize, head of, uh, this is again the data frame to summarize the first 10 observations and then we're going to summarize and get a frequency table from this data frame, um, we, we're going to be selecting the year. Okay, so let's see what we, uh, the results in the console. So if we ask for the structure of our data frame, here we have 380, uh, 321 observations, six variables that we kept. These are the six variables that we kept. And these are the different variables that we have. Um, so notice that the first few observations are 1978 as far as the year. This is the dummy variable if the year is 81. So obviously if we have this year, then it's a zero. And these are price, log price, number of rooms and number of paths. Stargazer, uh, we're going to be using this to get the summary statistics for our data frame. So here we have the number of observations um, and summarizing the mean and the standard deviations for the data. If we want to see the first 10 observations, we're going to use head. Uh, here we have the data frame and the first 10 observations. These are the first 10 observations of the data. Uh, again, we have pooled cross sections. So the first 10 observations happen to be for the year 1978, but we actually know that we also have the 81 uh, year in the data set as well, as I will show you uh, later on right here. Um, so this is a dummy variable if um, the year is 81, which in this case is not 81, so we have a zero. And here we have the house price, log house price, number of rooms, number of bathrooms. If we use table uh, to, to um, get a frequency table for a year uh, off of this data frame, uh, here we see that in 1978 we had 179 observations and in 1981 we had 142 observations. So these are the number of houses that got sold in this year and these are the number of houses that got sold in uh, this, um, this year. Okay, so now we can also get um, summary statistics um, for price uh, and year. Um, so here we are going to be uh, using this data frame. Uh, we're going to use the pipe operator here to pass it as the first argument here. So we're selecting from this data frame, um, we're going to select the price and the year. And then we want to summarize these uh, variables with a stargazer. So here, using this data frame to select these variables and then summarize them. Uh, here's what uh, we're going to be seeing. So again, we're summarizing uh, these two variables. Uh, so uh, the average price of the house is $96,100. And uh, I, this is not a very meaningful average uh, because it's summarizing the uh, getting an average between these two years. Okay, so we can also get summary statistics for the selected sample. Uh, and so basically we can get uh, summary statistics for the year before 1978. We want to see the average price before. And the after is the year 1981 and we want to see the average price in the year after. And so uh, we're going to use exactly the same lines as here, except we're going to be filtering here if year is 1978. Uh, and so everything else is the same because we're saying from the data frame, filter if year is equal to 1978. Notice we use the double equal sign here. So we're going to be filtering and only keeping these observations, then we're selecting the price and then we're using Stargazer to summarize this. And so what this is uh, showing us is this is the price. Um, so the average $76,628. Uh, so notice here that the number of observations is lower uh, and uh, this is actually summarizing only the um, house prices 
for the first year for 1978. And if you scroll back up, this is exactly the number of observations that we have in uh, this frequency table here. And this is the number of observations for the next year. So again, we're seeing this uh, right here. This is the number of, of observations here, and this is the number of observations in the second year. So these things kind of match up. So this is the average price uh, for the house in the year before, which is 1978. And here, because we're filtering uh, the next year, 1981 in the data, the second year in the data, um, this is the average house price in, in that year. Um, so again, these are repeated cross sections. So we have two cross sections. One of them is for the year 1978 and the other one is for 1981. We can use summary statistics like that. But again, these are not necessarily the same houses that are being sold uh, in these uh, two years. Okay, so finally, uh, we're going to talk about panel or longitudinal data. So this is panel data for wages of individuals across years. So here we have eight years panel data of wages of individuals and other variables. So these are observations for the same individual for multiple years. So the person identifier here is NR. And then the time identifier here is year. So NR is a cross-sectional identifier and year is the uh, time series identifier. So let's read the wage pen uh, file, CSV file uh, from the directory that we specified above. We're going to use, use the read.csv um, uh, we're going to use read.csv and we're going to be assigning it into the uh, wage pen data frame. So now from this uh, wage pen data frame, we can select the variables that we're interested in. Uh, so here we would have the uh, person ID, uh, the year. This is, so this is our cross-sectional dimension. This is our time series dimension. And these are some of the variables that we're going to be summarizing. Log wage, experience, education, and number of hours worked. Um, and then uh, let's use, uh, let's see the structure of the data. Uh, so this is the structure of the data. What we have here in our data frame, 4,360 observations. We have six variables that we selected and kept in the data here. And we can see the first few observations of each of these um, uh, variables. And uh, if we use Stargazer uh, with the data frame type equals text, this is going to give us the table of summary statistics. So this is again the uh, person identifier. This is the year. And here are the uh, variables that we have in the data set. And these are the means and standard deviations. Uh, and if we look at the data set, uh, we can uh, use head. Uh, this is the data frame. This is the first 10 observations. And here we would have first 10 observations. Um, so here we have NR is the person identifier. So for person number 13, we see uh, we have data for years 1980 through 1987. And uh, this is their log wage. This is the number of years of experience, education, and hours. Notice how the number of years of experience very deterministically increases by one year in each subsequent year. Uh, and it so happened that this person did not get any extra education during the um, uh, the the study here uh, and this is the total number of hours worked in a year and here we have data for person number 17 and of course the data goes on and on um, so kind of like a similar thing so the final thing to do is we can get a uh, table um, from the data frame for the variable year and here we can see that uh, we have these are the years that we have in the data set and we have the same number of observations 
uh, for each of these years, which means that we have a, a strongly balanced panel data set uh, with equal number of uh, observations for each year, or in other words, each person has the same number of years uh, uh, of, of data. Okay, so this concludes the introduction of different data sets uh, and how to uh, read those in R. Thanks for watching.